Shamai, welcome. Good morning. Uh, this is Bitcoin Coffee Break, the show in which we have a quick look at the Bitcoin price and some of the other markets which may be affecting it. Bitcoin's down. They're all down. There's blood in the streets. This is a stark reminder as to why you don't invest everything you own into Bitcoin when the Bitcoin price is going up, because this is guaranteed to happen the next day. We're still in very volatile markets. So you have to be very, very careful with your money and make long, long term um, investments on, on Bitcoin. Because on the long term, historically, Bitcoin's always done very well. Uh, so, you know, you're, you're, the, the probability of you making money on a long term trade is, is good. On a short term trade, the probability of making money is, is, is very bad. So let's have a look at the Bitcoin price. We're at $7,215. That's a shift down of 8.25%. We've had a high of $7,910 and a low of $6,999. Uh, there's some speculation that um, this is a, a, a move by some traders or a small group of traders on Bitstamp. There was a, um, a huge, some huge sell order which had been haunting Bitstamp. Uh, which gave a sort of $500 disparity between the price on Bitstamp for Bitcoin and the other exchanges. Uh, and this, this just sort of wrecked all the, the positive traders out there. So whether or not this is uh, a long-term market move, the FUD which it creates could help pull the market down for a while. Uh, but I imagine it's going to recover. I did manage to, to get a comment on my last video before this happened, just saying that I had concern over uh, Bitcoin plateauing and then Ethereum pumping up because historically that's never been good for Bitcoin. And that's what happened in 2017. It's happened many times before. You know, Bitcoin will kind of stall and then Ethereum will pump up and then Bitcoin will drop. Um, and then Ethereum drops as well, you know. <laughs> uh, so that's probably a good kind of indicator to look out for in, in the future. Um, Either that is just my, my paranoia. So we've dropped down to the $7,000 sort of resistance zone, which we had, you know, at the rim of this cup last year. Um, uh, so we'll, we'll see if we just bounce around there and then and maybe start cre creeping our way back up. We, you know, it's to be expected that we're going to have a few um, heavy, heavy, heavy drops down in price when the price goes up as high as it has and as over such a short period of time as it has. It just shows how illiquid our market really is, doesn't it? Um, so Bitcoin price drops 20%. Here's what happened, blah, blah, blah. Four reasons why the new Bitcoin rally is unlikely to stop now. Okay, so yeah, so there's still some bullish sentiment as well as some bearish um, recognition there. Uh, and then the rest of it is just your general bearish news in the uh, um, the news feed there on TradingView. Litecoin, how's Litecoin doing? He's at $87, dead on the head. So that's a drop of 8.99%. Uh, well, it's at a high of $97 and a low of $85.8. Uh, if we zoom out on Litecoin, um, I mean, Litecoin's, it's got this kind of resistance, uh, which is probably about now, it's probably at about like $90. Um, so as long as it just kind of bounces off $90 and goes back up, we should be all right. Um, um, you know, we have had some, some, high high leaps upwards and, and, and downwards in, in Litecoin over the past couple of months. So yeah, I mean on, on a six month time frame, Litecoin's probably looking a little bit more resilient and stable than, than Bitcoin at the moment, which is interesting. Ethereum, how's Ethereum doing? It's at $238. That's a drop of 9.5%. So Ethereum's really been slammed hard. Uh, it's had a high of $268 and a low of $233. Um, like four or five videos back, I did say that the, the, the move upward would probably be about $100 just because of the base of this, this ascending triangle or, um, or ascending three peaks. So, so many bullish indicators going on in the Ethereum chart, it was, it was potty. Um, but, you know, all the traders, they see those, those indicators and then they trade off those indicators. So, yeah, it, it only gives you a short period in which to make your, make your gains. So, yep, so Ethereum's down as well. Uh, Monero, let's have a look at Monero. Monero's down 6.7%. Monero seems to be moving up and down less than, it seems to be less volatile than, than some of the other, other cryptocurrencies. So that's kind of interesting. We keep my eye on that. So it's at $81. It's had a high of uh, 86, or well, almost $87, and a low of $78. Um, again, you know, in these sort of this choppy period, then, you know, uh, don't make any rash decisions. Uh, stick to your long-term investment plan, you know, buy and hold for five years or buy and hold for three years and only invest more, you know, as much as you can afford to lose. Um, uh, yeah, let's have a look at the, the Bitcoin Reddit. As to be expected, there's a whole bunch of bearish news at the, ta at the top. Um, don't invest recklessly. And this is why, uh, what's happened today. Uh, 
Meet the man who spent millions worth on the Bitcoin pizza. So this reminds us how much the Bitcoin price has gone up over the, you know, um, since 2010, um, which is when I think he bought the pizza. Uh, I think it was 10,024. I don't know why I think it's 10,024. Um, no, 1,000, 1,020. I think it's 1,024. Was that how many kilobytes are on a megabyte? I think again, my number was muddled up here. Um, uh, yeah, it is. Uh, maybe... Um, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's about a thousand. He paid about a thousand bitcoins for a pizza, which works out to be a, a lot of money now, obviously. Uh, so there's a new story here about Elon Musk wanting to put, uh, give the world high-speed Wi-Fi. That'd be pretty cool. Um, as long as it's free and open source, Bitcoin now more popular search term than Donald Trump. Well, that makes sense because there's been a lot of uh, upward trend. As I said a couple of videos ago as well, a lot of people have been phoning me, like relatives and stuff, saying they want to buy Bitcoin, and that's never a good sign. So I imagine I don't watch normal news on the on the, on the telly but i imagine uh the bitcoin's being featured back in the news again which is a good thing because it these people have have um seen uh news the news report that bitcoin's dead bitcoin's crashed to zero bitcoin will never recover and now they have you know more news articles saying that bitcoin's going up in price so just like people generally in bitcoin the bitcoin community they'll become resilient to this um fud fomo news cycle uh, so let's have a look at the news. There's, there's not really that much going on, so there's only really one article which is interesting. This is Coinbase negotiating the acquisition of Zappos uh, Bitcoin custody business. So Coinbase is expanding even more um, uh, with all the bad gains they make on their uh, exchange business. Um, they did start providing custody solutions sort of last year. Uh, I think it was about the middle of last year, summer of last year. Um, whether they're buying Zappo for its tech or whether they're just buying it to cancel out a competitor, I'm not sure. Um, that, that you know they are the sort of business which 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 want a, a monopoly over the whole industry. So um, I won't put it past them. But uh, yeah, the the I think custody of bitcoins is going to be um, uh, for, for for large institutional investment is is going to be a uh, huge business in the in the future, and that's going to be ha where most of the money in bitcoins you know sadly going to be because um, um, a lot of these big investment funds that they they're not allowed to hold their own bitcoin. Their, their insurers won't let them do that. So. Um, so yeah, so so we'll, we'll see, we'll see, um, we'll see whether they they buy it or not. But but so far it looks like they're they're going to purchase Sapo. So that's about it for uh, Bitcoin today. Tomorrow I hope we have better news and uh, don't let it drag you down too much. You know the Bitcoin price is choppy, it, it, it shoots up and down. If it if it is pulling you down and making you feel miserable, then you've probably got too much invested in Bitcoin and you should um, you should downscale your investment. So have a good day and I'll see you tomorrow.